Andrew Reynolds has been one of my favorite pro skateboarders for a very long time, and ever since I saw he was skating Vans, I was wondering when Vans was going to give him his very own pro model. Oh! I don't want to drop into there. As it turns out, Vans did not give him his own pro model, but what they did do is give him some of his own colorways of some very, very classic Vans shoes. Well, my question is, did they improve these three legendary van shoes or did they just slap Andrew Reynolds name on it and then say that it's his new shoe and I'm gonna see if these feel better than the other old schools that I've skated ah! they gave Andrew Reynolds a skate high colorway a old school pro colorway and a half cab colorway which in that case the half cabs of Steve ha Cavalarials Pro model shoe, so if that's his pro model shoe, oh god, and Andrew Reynolds' name is on it too, then that's basically like a collab pro model shoe, right? Oh god. Well, in, the in this case, I got the old schools that he has his own colorway of. And these old schools cost $75. We're gonna skate them and see if they perform as well or better than the previous old schools. But here are the claims that Vans has for Andrew Reynolds Old School Pro. Vans newest family member and Thrasher Magazine's 1998 Skateboarder of the Year, Andrew Reynolds, is one of the most influential legends in skateboarding history. Reynolds is the founder of Baker Skateboards, which has influence. All right. They said a whole bunch of stuff about Andrew Reynolds because they're selling the fact that his name is on the shoe. For a lot of people that might not know who he is, that maybe don't skate, because a lot of people that wear Vans don't skate. But for me and for us and for this purpose, we just kind of want to see if there's extra points about the new old schools that are better than the previous old schools. All new skate classic built extra tough on the inside. The repositioned Duracap, reinforced underlays, and fully redesigned upper combined with a new two-part foxing tape that features a deeper neural pattern on the toe. The new Reynolds Skate Old School Pro, durable enough to withstand daily skateboarding abuse. For more board control, the new molded heel and internal tongue strap lock in your feet. Even the gum rubber sole that made Vans famous has been elevated with a six stick rubber compound to deliver more grip and board feel. They, they always say the Vans has that slick grip, grip compound or whatever, but They're not that grippy. Plus, the Popkush Energy Return Shock Liner provides superior cushioning and impact protection while helping to lessen leg failure for longer skate sessions. I'm not sure how an insole is gonna make your legs muscles last longer. That honestly sounds ridiculous. Internal heel stiffener has also been added to provide more support and stability. The new Reynolds Skate Old School's updated foxing tape along with a mix of sturdy suede, denim, and heavy canvas upper. There's canvas on this? The only part that has canvas on the shoe is on the tongue though, which is probably the best place to have canvas since that's the only place that's not touching your board. Brilliant! <laughs> See, they write fully redesigned upper in all caps, but it looks exactly the same as the previous old school, just a different color. So does fully redesigned mean fully recolored? They're basically saying that this shoe gives you the classic look that skateboarders want, while at the same time giving you the performance that skateboarding demands. <laughs> I did do a review on the old school pros in the past, but I wanted to try these out to see if they actually improve them with his name. I also did go out skating with my friends yesterday and there are some clips from yesterday that my friends got. Yeah? You did it. First of all, I want to open this discussion with why did they not just give Andrew Reynolds his own new pro model. And here are some theories that I have of why they didn't do that. 
When I think of Andrew Reynolds, I think of incredible video parts, right? So incredible video parts being stay gold, which means when I think of Andrew Reynolds, I think of America, because that was an America video, and that video part was incredible. It gave me chills. <laughs> so I think that they might want to test out and see if Andrew Reynolds' name does well on a van skateboarding shoe. This is of course just my own theory and speculation, but I have two more theories as to why they've just given him his own colorways instead of giving him his own shoe. And also leave comments down below if you think that he should have got his own shoe. I don't know if I'm the only person that thinks this because he's Andrew Reynolds. He should get his own shoe, not just a colorway. Another theory I have is that maybe Andrew's testing all of these three shoes out and zeroing in on which one he wants to make his very own pro model. If you have theories, leave them in the comments down below. <laughs> My last theory of why they didn't give him his own pro model shoe is that maybe Andrew didn't want one. Maybe he didn't want the pressure of having to create a whole new skateboarding shoe. So he just took three very classic, very high selling skateboarding shoes and decided you know what we should do? We should just put my name on those. Those sell well. I can make a cool colorway and we can make that shoe, which is cool too. I wouldn't mind if that's all he wanted to do because they do look cool. But at the same time, I would love to see a brand new Andrew Reynolds shoe that's not the exact same as the shoes that already exist in Vans. Like how Kyle Walker made his, but just not the strap thing. That strap thing was stupid. <laughs> With all of my educated guesses out of the way, let's go ahead and see if the new Old School Pro skates similarly to the old, Old School Pro. Immediately I could tell that these shoes have that crisp vulcanized feel that you get with any vulcanized shoe where your kickflips feel super snappy and very responsive. A lot of people have been leaving comments like, how's Christian saying like you put the board in your knee and you sit on the board. It looks weird, but it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> These shoes do fit true to size and because I am currently acclimated to skating a vulcanized shoe, I didn't really have any breaking in period and they feel like that classic Vans, very loose, easy to break in feeling that a lot of the Vans shoes have. The suede upper does feel like it's thicker, but I think it might just be the color making me think that it's thicker because after rolling around in it for a little bit, it feels real loose already and it's not a very stiff shoe to begin with. As for this supposed advanced rubber compound that they use for the tread of the shoe. Okay, that time I got stuck. Okay, they're, they're kind of grippy. But ultimately, it doesn't really matter if your shoe is that grippy on the ground. It's usually just skate park grounds that you're gonna be sliding around anyways, and you have grip built into your board. So a shoe with grip tape on it is going to be grippy for whatever shoe you're skating. These shoes do come with the pop cush cushioning insole in them, which does do well when you first start skating them. But every time I skate some of these pop cush cushioning insoles, it usually works pretty well for like the first week or so. And the more you sweat in them, and the more you break them down, the less cushiony they begin to feel. And usually I end up putting my own insoles in there, which is something that I am currently working on so I can make my own insoles as well as my own shoelaces. But after this session today, these shoes still feel extremely comfortable. I don't feel like this impact protection is going to be any better than any Vans skate pop cush cushioning insole that you've had in the past or any Vans shoe that you've had in the past because usually they're very thin and provide very good board feel, which this shoe does do. The laces on these shoes do look like they have good placement and they do look a little bit thicker than your normal skate shoe laces. But if you want your laces to definitely last longer than these laces or any other laces, then I'll leave a link to my shoe laces in the description. The colorway that they did give the boss is pretty damn cool looking because that dark blue suede with that mustardy brown wave going down the side of the shoe along with the same colored stitching does look really damn cool. And overall, the red and white checkerboard on the tongue and on the little tag on the side of the shoe is pretty cool and meshes well with the rest of the colors. But the coolest thing about this shoe is obviously having Andrew Reynolds' name on it. Now, that's why I wanted to get these and why I wanted to try them out and see if they felt any different than the previous old schools. After today's session in this shoe, it's very safe to say that this shoe is not a extreme upgrade from any of the previous old schools. I'm not gonna keep skating these though because you guys have to leave a comment down below letting me know what shoes to skate next. And I love you, bye. 
And if you've watched this far, leave a comment saying, I'm dropping in on my butt. JK, no, I'm not. Okay, bye. I love you. <laughs>